Hey, what is up? The Holy Emerald here back with another Minecraft Pocket Edition video. Now, before this video starts, I'm just going to start off by saying that I'm actually holding a Q&A session tomorrow on YouTube. So ask your questions below in the comment section. And of course, this video is part of a two-part series. And this is the first installment to the um, Things You Didn't Know series. And hopefully you guys learn a lot from this video. Also, make sure to like this video as it helps a lot. <laughs> and subscribe. Starting off the video, the dead bush is officially considered as the most useless item in Minecraft PC, while the diamond hoe is considered as the most useless item in Minecraft PE. An egg has a 1 in 256 chance to hatch 4 chickens at once. Each chunk is made up of over 65,000 blocks in both console and PC editions, although most of them are air. But interestingly enough, Minecraft Pocket Edition separates chunks into 15,000 blocks including air. Source, a popular mod developer. Until a recent update, ice and water were each invisible behind the other object, but when I studied more into this topic, I realized that this was because of an obsolete method of using OpenGL. Flint and steel, once upon a time, had a durability bar in creative mode. This made it much easier to spot fire-resistant blocks in creative mode with infinite flint and steel, but it was then removed, citing conflicts with how the PC version did it. Blocking was requested more than sneaking for the 0.12.0 update in a Q&A session, but the developers sensed the need of a replacement for blocking even on the PC version. It was later replaced with shielding. Most of the Enderman sounds are people saying hi, hello, oh, hello there. and what's up reversed, slowed down, and distorted. The Enderman had another sound effect on the PE version upon implementation in 2015 that went in between the lines of update or outrage reversed in the Minecraft PE files, but it is now an abandoned feature. On average, there are 3 diamond ore blocks per chunk in Minecraft Pocket Edition. The best layer to mine for diamonds is level 12. As you can see, I requested for Swipe to Drop way back in the day. Swipe to Drop is now by far the most delayed mentioned feature for Minecraft PE, taking over its precedent, scrolling up in chat, which is now implemented. Oak and Birchwood were added in the first version of Minecraft Pocket Edition, but Yenius Bernhardsen, an ex-developer, wanted to rename the wood to just wood, for the time being at least. The ability to throw eggs was added when a player said that he would eat his USB if not added it. He did. MSP adapted that way from the PC edition. Smooth lighting was added in the update 0.7.0 as an experimental graphics option. It makes the game lighting more blocky. As of update 0.8.0, the option was removed from the options menu and is now always on by default. Keon flowers, actually not cyan, it's Keon. Keon flowers were coded in the game as replacements for the rose. They were removed in the update 0.9.0 when they were replaced by poppies. RIP. Cameras were added to take screenshots in game. They were only accessible through inventory editing and were removed in the update 0.9.0. They resurfaced back in 0.12.0 but then the developers decided to remove them again. Gravel know. blocks were used as paths on villages but in the update 0.11.0 it was replaced by grass paths, pressed dirt created by using a shovel on grass. In 0.9.0, a glitch caused edges of the worlds spawned with hydrated farmland. This was removed in a future 0.9.0 update. MCPE was not deemed complete for 6 years, making it the longest game to stay in alpha. Mycelium was supposed to be pink in Minecraft PE, but the developers found workarounds to this glitch. It takes 4 minutes and 10 seconds to break obsidian with your fists. Redstone is the only light source that will not melt snow or ice besides natural light. I'm sure you guys already knew this, but this is basically a mind blower for some of you. So thank you for tuning in to episode 1. Hopefully that was some good editing there, some good memes, some good whatever. If you guys did like it, please do subscribe, um, wait for part 2, wait for my face reveal tomorrow, and yeah guys, thank you so much. Please try to comment and subscribe, and as always... I don't have a catchphrase to buy.